Right, let's talk about chess, guys. Um, because this is honestly a great example here. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm actually going to get chess here, right? Let's, I'm gonna get like the board. Let's actually go ahead and get a chess board. So let's turn the music down a little bit here because this is honestly super, this is actually a very good example. So let's take a look at the, the game of chess, right? Um, in a game of chess, you have, it's turn-based, right? So you have around, f well, occasionally you might have up to four minutes or even like, you know, 10 minutes to make a move. Right? If you look at the real pro level, uh, players will often take, you know, multiple minutes to consider one move. Okay. In Guild Wars 2, you have to make, you know, maybe like a few moves a second and make decision making like immediately. You have to react, right? So there's the comparison there. In that sense, Guild Wars 2 is far harder than chess. So that's like one level. Guild Wars 2 is far harder than chess in that regard. Okay. Now, mechanics. Let's talk about mechanics and information. When I'm looking at the board here, I can see my opponent's pieces. In Guild Wars 2, I can't see my opponent's build. I can't see my opponent's cooldowns. I can't see how many dodges they have left. I, they can move in three dimensions anywhere they want. They have loads of abilities. There's nine different classes with uh, 18 elite specializations that they can choose from. It's far, and again, chess is far easier than Guild Wars 2 on that mechanical level, right? Let's talk about, and then, like, mechanics, right? The pawns can move forwards, right? And they can take pieces. Uh, they can take pieces as well, you know, of course, uh, diagonally. The queen can go and do anything she wants. The bishops can go diagonally. The horses do, like, a little L shape, right? And, you know, the rooks can go in a straight line, right? Um, you know, the king is slow and fat because, you know, he ate too much, right? All that kind of good stuff. Again, the rules are very simple. Right? Like, um, you know, uh, you can be any chess computer team because chess is harder. No, that is not what I said. Okay? And that is not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the game's mechanics. Right? Chess's mechanics are simpler and easier. And by the way, guys, I am not roasting chess. I'm saying the opposite. Simplicity in a game is beautiful. Chess is a very simple game. Okay? It is simple. It is slow paced. It is strategic. The difficulty in chess is from your opponent, right? It is from the strategy. It is from, you know, thinking five, ten moves into the future about deceiving your opponent and tricking them, making them not see something. Okay? Is where it's from. In guilt, chess used by under time constraint? Yeah, like hours, right? In, if I'm, dude, look, okay, if me and Mello 1v1 each other right now, and I go, Mello, grasping dead, right? And then I use my set for two, Mello does not have like five minutes to respond. And then Mello go, ooh, me dodge, right? Okay, I've only got one dodge left, right? And then I go, aha, you dodged, but oh, wait, I had my shade there, shade, right? And then we have to wait another three minutes to do another move. That's just not how it works, guys, right? That's not, it is. You never heard of bullet? Even bullet chess, right? Don't you have, um, a bullet chess is very, very fast. And yeah, that is ex much more mechanically, that's much more mechanically difficult, right? Um, I completely agree. Like bullet chess is super intense, but that isn't how most people play chess, guys. Most people play chess um, with long turn times, right? If you look at chess.com, right? It's going to be like minute turn, uh, like a minute per turn, maybe like 30 seconds per turn there as well, right? Um, yeah, yeah, thank you. Like, Grabskus, I, I think I think I am making myself clear because Grabskus ex is exactly understanding what I'm saying here, right? Like, chess is a beautifully simple game, right? With a lot of, it, there's no, there's a very, like, low barrier to entry into learning chess. Mastering it, that is another thing entirely. And actually, wh what we're going to go ahead and do, guys, I'm going to go on paint, right? So if we look at the, um, let's go ahead and go on paint, right? So for chess, right, let's go ahead and do, um... Right, let's go ahead and do, uh, I want some text. Uh, okay, we'll just do, okay, we'll just, we'll just write, actually. So, wait, what? Uh, let me write. Let, wait, what? Oh, that's, oh, yeah, okay, okay. So, if we look at chess, right? And then G, W, 2. So, on chess, the skill floor and basically understanding the game is around here, right? Mastering the game is savage, right? It is extremely difficult to be very good at chess. So this is the this is the um, the floor, right? Oh god, that's terrible handwriting. But there you go, floor, and this is the ceiling. Okay, right. 
finish that either. Right? It's very hard, right, to be good at chess. Extre you have to have, you have to be a massive five head, right, um, to be very good at chess. Right? Now, the issue is, is that with Guild Wars 2, right, uh, the skill floor is actually around here. Right? Okay? Like, this is now the floor for, for Guild Wars 2. And this, and, well, I don't know, I don't want to, like, bruise any egos. I'm just going to say that the skill ceiling, I, I would actually probably, mm, let, let's just say that the skill ceiling is, let's just say it's about the same. I, I, I don't know. Like, if the chess people think it's harder, I and mean, realistically, like, Guild Wars, I mean, it's a very different skill set. It's not an easy thing to compare, though, but let's assume that the skill ceiling is about the same. Right? Like, just, just for the sake of argument, let's assume it's the same. So, the issue is here, right? Is that this, yeah, okay, look, look let's not even go, like, okay, let's not even go there, right? Like, you know, uh, 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 does it, look, I don't want to lie, all the, oh, oh, actually, I'll have you know, uh, I think you actually require a minimum of 180 IQ to even be remotely competent at chess, and therefore comparing that to goals 2 is an insult to my massive wrinkly brain. I'll be reporting this, disliking this video, and then getting you banned off Twitch very shortly, right? Look, I don't want to activate the chess people, right? So, just doesn't matter, right? It's irrelevant in this particular example, right? It's not relevant, okay? Um... So, if we just take a look at this example, this means, guys, that Guild Wars 2 is essentially unplayable or, like, impossible, right, compared to, um, chess, right? And this is good for chess, right? This is a green... What? The, this is a green tick for chess and actually a red cross for Guild Wars 2. This is a problem for this game, not an advantage. It is bad if your game is hard to understand, right? Okay? Like, it is... If you... If it's hard to get into your game and get on that road to improving, it is bad. And this is honestly an amazing example uh, uh, because of how good chess is at doing this. It is a simple game with simple rules, but the rules, like, become so complex and so elaborate, right? Like, there's so much depth to the game of chess. It's, you know, that's why it's such, in hell, in such high regard, right? You know, as a, like, you know, the thinking man's game, right? It's a legendary, like, uh, a legendary battle of the minds across the years, right? Like, this is why chess is so good and why it survived, because it just has such a simple rule set, and those, that rule set, extrapolates out, right, and becomes devilishly difficult to master. That is a very good game. Same thing with stuff like uh, Go, right? Uh, with Go, like the, you know, the, the other game that, uh, you know, the, um, that um, is also very well around. This is the Chinese game, right? I think it's Chinese. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, like that's also like another legendary skill, like, you know, thinking game, right? For that reason. Because again, the rules are simple, okay? But the rules create this massive web of possibilities and massive web of complexity, making it an extremely difficult game to master and fully understand, right? And Guild Wars 2 is not like that. The game is inherently quite difficult. Like, mechanically, it's hard to play, right? And chess is very easy mechanically to play. Because, you know, if you can move a piece, right? Like, move a piece or like move your mouse to move the piece, right? And that's an issue with Guild Wars 2. Let's compare it to... Now let's compare it to other MMOs, right? Let's actually... Okay, I'll tell you what. Um, let us... I'm going to do a new page here, right? Um, and... Because uh, there's actually something else that we need to discuss here. Right? New image. Okay. So, now we actually have to break this down in terms of encounter difficulty. So, uh, right. We're going to talk about... Um, Okay, hang on, let's do this. So, mechanics. Here is my terrible writing of mechanics and encounter. Okay. So, let's talk about WoW and Final Fantasy. I'm going to put a little key here. I'm going to give WoW is going to be... Is going to be blue. Okay, so here we go. This is going to be WoW. And then let's go ahead and Guild Wars 2 can be red. Okay. So this is, uh, I'll just do some labels here. This is going to be WOW. And then this is going to be GW2. So this is where things get a little bit more complicated. Because uh, what's harder? What raids are harder? Like, uh, what's harder in, in, in raids? WOW or Guild Wars 2? That's a very interesting question, actually. That's a very interesting question. And the answer is both. Uh, because if we have our kind of, uh, you know, difficulty scale here, right? This, uh, this line here, guys, this axis is uh, diff, right? Difficulty, right? 
Now, the thing is, is that if we look at Guild Wars 2, mechanically, the game is much more complicated, has active, uh, no global cooldown, active mitigation with dodging, right? And like, you know, like, uh, you know, Twitch reaction. It's an action game, more action oriented game. So it's a lot harder than WoW to play. WoW is a, a global cooldown game, right? You have add-ons, right? All that kind of stuff, right? And so Guild Wars 2 is a baseline, much harder game than WoW. So like WoW is around here. Still a hard game and there's a lot of mastery in WoW, like getting your rotation down correctly there um, as well. Um, all that kind of stuff. Getting your rotation down correctly, understanding like positioning, right? All that kind of stuff. There's a lot going on there. But now let's look at the encounter. Right? Okay, let's look at the encounter difficulty. Hang on. Uh, diff. In this case, it's diff, not did. Right? So, let's look at the encounter difficulty. Now, because Guild Wars 2 sets its mechanical intensity quite high, right? This means that the encounters are very easy. Right? The encounters are not super difficult. There's no DPS check. You have the down state. Right? Uh, mechanics often don't punish you as hard as they do in WoW. Right? Uh, and in general, like, the, the, the encounters are just a lot more forgiving, and they have less complexity, less mechanics. Right? And then in WoW, we actually have a few things. So, for a start, in WoW, let's put green. This is basically, like, no questions asked, guys. Like, WoW also has difficulty modes. Right? So, for example, you might have, this is LFR. Okay? And then maybe this is normal. And then maybe heroic is about the same as Guild Wars 2. But then, okay, you also then say... Oh, shit, right? Let's fucking crank it up a notch. And then you put Mythic up here, right? Okay, then Mythic WoW is up here. And it turns out uh, that this is actually a really big problem for Guild Wars 2. Like, WoW don't have... It. WoW has no real issue with this because they have difficulty settings. But the problem here um, is that it turns out, guys, that because this is so high, right? Because this is so high, guys, it actually forces this to be low. Otherwise, the game will be completely impossible for the majority of the player base. And even worse, actually, guys, right? It is, right? Because of this red line, this means that this is far too hard, right? Far too hard for the, for the most player base, guys. And the other double-edged sword is that means that if you're a player, if you're a player, guys, who's over this hump, you're here, this is a joke, okay? So if you if you know the mechanics, right? If you're here, guys, right, you're a, you're a new player and you haven't learned the mechanics yet, this is impossible, okay? Like, and I, I, I mean that when I say, I mean literally impossible. Like, if you're a new player and you're not over this mechanical hump, this is, you cannot do this. It cannot be done. You will never beat it, ever, right? But if, you're, but if you are, then it's a joke. It's incredibly easy. And this is the ultimate double-edged sword of having your game be complicated and uh, mechanically intricate. Because without, without difficulty settings. Because if you do all of those three things, your game is going to please no one. So while it's for dumber players, absolutely not. Um, uh, if you watch uh, Limit Echo Method, these are some of the most brilliant game, uh, gamers you'll find. The most dedicated, skilled, analytical, um, incredibly good players you'll see in any game, right? If you look at the Mythic World's first race, and if you look at, say, uh, WoW Arenas. All I'm saying is, is that the barrier for entry is far lower, right, in WoW. And there are far fewer players under here, guys. Like, if you look at the actual amount of players that are stuck under here in WoW, it's far less. There are a few, don't get me wrong, there are some players who are really going to struggle with mechanics in WoW. Absolutely, right? Because not everyone's good at games, and not everyone cares about being good at games. That's fine. But, guys, there are far more people under this mechanical bar, right, um, than, uh, than, than there are in WoW. And this means that this, it has to be easier, and even if it is easier, right? Um, it doesn't matter because if you aren't over that level of mechanical understanding, you cannot win. Does that make any more sense, guys? I Hopefully, I've explained that relatively well. And also, let's go ahead and put chess here, right? Chess is actually even um, easier, right, mechanically, right, than WoW because, what it, you know, it's a very chill, 
um, you know, slow paced game. You know, like you can see all the information, like you have all the information available to you of the encounter, right? So chess is actually even better for this. Like everyone can learn the rules of chess, right? And play a game of chess. Everyone can do that. Being good at it though, is another thing, right? For example, okay, you know what guys, right? Because I don't want the chess pool to be so mad. Let's assume that chess is actually really fucking hard, right? Let's let's say that chess, the encounter difficulty, is brutal because it is, right? You're you're dealing with um you know a, a human who is probably like a, a fucking genius at this point, right? Like if you're in like high level chess, right? Like high, you know, like two thousand eight hundred elo or whatever, right? Like this is a brilliant person, right? Like he's gonna crush you, right? So let's say chess is here. But look, this is even better, right? Because now the amount of people who can't enjoy a good game of chess, right? In other words, people underneath this mechanical threshold, right? Okay, is even lower. So that means almost everyone can enjoy a good game of chess, right? Because they, you, you can learn the rules and have the way all the pieces move and how you win by, you know, like checkmating your opponent so the king can't do anything right and can't get away. And everyone can enjoy a good game of chess, right? But it's still enjoyable at all skill levels because the better you get, you know, like the game scales and it becomes more and more interesting, right? Okay, all that kind of stuff, right? And that's, I think that's a very interesting thing, right? Um, and Guild Wars 2 is the opposite, right? Like to get into the game is kind of hard, but then once you get there, uh, it kind of falls off, right? You know, the, the raids become very easy, right? Because the encounters are not very difficult, right? The encounters themselves are very easy, right? Uh, and that's where you run into difficulties. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it depends. On, well, that's, that's what I mean, Atrilios, right? Like, because of the way it works is that chess scales, right? It's chess scales all the way. Like, the way you want it, guys, is you want, um, you want the mechanics to be simple and the gameplay to be very, very hard, right? Is what you want, okay? And the actual, you know, the mechanics are easy, right? So you learn the game, boom, and you want to have this upward thing, right? So you can see here that the difference in chess, right? You know, entry level here and the actual skill uh, ceiling, right? It's like very high, right? But here, Guild Wars 2 goes down. And this means that once you've mastered the game, this is no threat to you anymore, right? Okay, we get to be hard PP, and you're absolutely right then, Ephistos. And this is the fundamental problem. Guild Wars 2 is not a PvE game. Guild Wars 2 is and always has been a PvP game. And this means that they made the game beautiful. They made it mechanically complicated. They made it intricate and detailed with these uh, massive amounts of systems and gameplay things that you can do, giving you so much freedom as a player. And this is why PvE in Guild Wars 2 doesn't work very well, because the game was always meant to be PvP. And it was designed that way. And so you're playing a really hard game, right? A really hard game in PvE, which it was never designed for. It was always supposed to be world versus world and structured PvP as the end game of Guild Wars 2. So now you can have, okay, you can have uh, a simple game. For example, something like Fortnite, right, uh, is a simple game, but it can be played at a very high skill level. Right? Or, you know, even, you know, even something like, you know, like Rocket League. It's a relatively simple game conceptually, but it can be, can be very, very high skilled. Right? And I'm going to talk about solutions in a little bit. But in a way, there kind of is no solution to this. Like the real issue, in my opinion, with this stuff is that Guild Wars 2 has added too many mechanics to the game. Like back in the day, guys, the game was far simpler. And the best example of this is going to be um, Guardian, right? Let's take a look at Guardian. So I'm just going to bring this up over here. Let's look at Virtues. So let's look at the core game. Virtue of Justice. Burn your foes every few attacks. Activate, 20 second cooldown. You and your allies inflict burning on the next attack. All right, simple. Virtue of Resolve. Passively, get some health back. Active, heal yourself and nearby allies. All right, good. Virtue of Courage. Gain Aegis periodically. Activate. Grant Aegis to yourself and nearby allies. That's pretty straightforward. I know what Aegis does. That's one block I can use to block an attack. And notice the cooldown here. 20 seconds, 30 seconds, 45. These are simple abilities with relatively long cooldowns. All right. Let's look at Firebrand. Firebrand. 
Burn foes every few attacks. Active. Pull forth a magical tome on the dangers of the blazing heat and corner. What does that do? Um, oh, oh, I, oh, oh, hang on. I've got five more skills. Oh, hang on. Okay, so we've got an attack, a burning attack. Ignite the arrow. Okay, I've got another skill there that kind of seems similar though. Like, what, what's the difference between these two skills? Right, what, what is that? Like, what's going on there? I've got a CC, a pull. Right, I've got an AOE, another damaging skill to use here. And then I've got this Ash of... What is that? Recall the mirror of fallen heroes grunting allies the searing blades of justice? Wait, what does that even mean? Right, what even is that? Right? Uh, then I have to click on this. It's like, oh, wait, your next strike burns with justice. We get a three second burn. It's on allied targets. There's three stacks of that, right? And that lasts 10 seconds. Oh my god. And by the way, now we've got another two tomes, right? Now we've got um, this shit. And now I've also got this as well. I've got Tome of Courage. Right? And now I've also got mantras. Because wait, guys. Oh, no. I'm on Firebrand. So instead of, guys, let's look at Core Guardian here. If we go ahead and look at Guardian, what have we got here? We have a few abilities that we can use. Uh, let me look at all the different skills that we have. So we've got Consecrations, right? Like, you know, Grinding Stability, Ring of Fire, Protective Barrier, Reflect. All right. That's fairly simple there as well. Right. Okay. That seems pretty good. Meditation, again, like fairly long cooldowns here, right? It's a long cooldown, but I get rid of all my condies. Right? I teleport to my phone. All right. That's pretty... Pretty straightforward. This, you know, bit of utility there. Smite Gnome, Chris Magician, go invulnerable there. All right, all right, all right. And now let's look at Firebrand, right? Mantras, right? Gain health, Grand Aegis. And now, guys, I can use this. I can use this anytime with any other skill that I want, right? And it has multiple effects. It's AoE on my team, right? And I can use it anytime. This one is applying cripple, weakness, blindness, and damage there as well. Mantra of Liberation is a stun break. It gives resolution. It gives stability, right? It breaks stun, and it's got a charge on. I can use that whenever I want there at the same time, right? Like Mantra of Potence, it's giving um, uh, might, quickness at the same time there as well. Use it anytime you want. It's also a conal ability that you've got to aim, right? Like, these utility skills that become so integrated are not good, and the exact same thing is true with Scourge. Let me look at Scourge. Okay, let's look at Necromancer. Let's look at Necromancer. Well. I'm going to give another example here, guys. It's a very, very important uh, example here, too. Here's Necromancer. So, Core Death Shroud. What does it do? It takes away it, utility skills, gone, right? Utility skills, gone, right? Uh, weapon skills, changed. And again, basic skills. Do damage. Send out a claw, teleport them. Fear someone. AoE lifesteal, okay? AoE torment thing into a mother's. Very basic. No utilities, no other weapon skills, no weapon swap. Tank damage, right? Let's have a look at Scourge. So if we look at Scourge. What does that do? So that removes our shroud, but we have five new buttons to press all the time that we can combo together, use any time we want while casting other abilities, right? And they also have very short cooldowns, 5, 10, 15, 20, right? This is the problem with Guild Wars 2. Like, Guild Wars 2 just has so many things going on because they kept layering mechanic after mechanic after mechanic on top of the game, right? That it became too complicated. Like, it's a bit of a meme, guys, but they actually increased... The skill, not not exactly, but they increase the mechanical complexity of the game over the course of time, essentially making it much harder um, for people to actually parse this information and understand it and actually play it. That is a big issue in your video game, okay? Like, imagine, guys, if, like, oh, new rule in chess. Every third move, um, a, a pawn can move, uh, like, uh, three spaces diagonally. But, you know, or something like that. Like, that would be like, huh? Huh? Right? That would be a really difficult thing for a new player to play around and fully understand, right? If they added a rule like that. Oh, yeah, every seventh move, guys, your king can teleport uh, to the other side of the board, right? Like, huh? Huh? Like, that's, you know, that would be weird. It, it would be just bizarre. It'd be hard to keep track of, like, what's going on there? Like, how does that work? Why is that way, right? Like, what's going on? Like, they would never do something like that. Okay? Yeah, there are no... <laughs> chess balance patch? Dude, yeah. You guys think we've been having a bad time. Like, chess hasn't had a balance patch in, like, a thousand years. Uh, like, <laughs> probably even longer than that, actually. Right, how long has chess been around, guys? Like, when's, when was the last chess balance patch? Like, we, you know, we're, we're having a good time over here. You know, like... <laughs> Oh, yeah. Every, yeah, every five moves, you can give Aegis to a piece. Aha! You know, like, my piece didn't get taken because it had Aegis, right? Like, <laughs> I, I don't know. I, um, 
this is the this is obviously would never happen and for good reason right it would make things too complicated um star trek 3 ah yes 3d chess yes of course guys yeah you're absolutely right there but so hopefully i think i basically explained the broad the broad concept there now a great example actually is uh, a great question there from mike wanton actually is how do we fix that that's a great question mike um let's get to it like in my opinion increase cooldowns you should not be able to use abilities while using other abilities. For example, um, it, very few exceptions. For example, being able to use like stuff like Scourge skills while stuck. Like Scourge is just bad design, right? Like, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I, I, I've got to say it, right? Like, minimize instant cast um, because it means that you've got to press loads of buttons. It makes it harder for new players to deal with. Um, reduce the amount of abilities in the game in general. Just, like strip some stuff down. Keep design interesting on abilities. For example, keep fun stuff like purging flames, like crossing over it. I think that's good design, right? Stuff like that is not a problem in my opinion. Like you can have complicated designs, but just make it so that you can't do it as often. Higher cooldowns, less abilities per minute basically going off in every single game mode, but make the decisions behind that more impactful and then make the encounters accordingly more difficult. So we want this to go down and this to go up is what you want to do, right? Guild Wars 2 is inherently mechanically complicated. You have kiting, you have positioning, you have dodge rolling, you have blocking, right? Like, you know, you have a lot of movement. There's a huge amount of movement in the game. It's inherently there, right? You can strip back all of like the me press button, me press button, right? And the game isn't really less skillful. Like, I don't think it's difficult to mash all your skills, right? Um, players have difficulty with that because it's, it's kind of, you know, it, it, when you're new, right? And you're learning the game, it's hard to actually press buttons. And also you want to add these as well, right? This is settings, right? Okay, and this is how WoW addressed this issue, right? Like, WoW addressed this issue um, by... Uh, WoW addressed this issue by adding difficulty settings, right? So even... They, they realize, like, hmm, our game is, you know, fairly straightforward to kind of learn and understand, but there are still some people, these guys, right? There are these guys who can't get over the mechanical hump and therefore can't deal with the encounter difficulty of the game. So they're like, hmm... Okay, what do we do about that? Well, they they made easy mode, right? They made LFR, they made normals, and then they added, but they were like, huh, wait, if we reduce the encounter difficulty, that's going to make all our sweaty boys really hard. Uh, really hard. Well, the opposite of hard, actually. Soft, flaccid, if you will. It's going to make them really sad. So, they added, they actually increased the overall mechanical difficulty, right, um, of the encounters. For example, guys, um, if you go ahead and look at mythic mythic is far harder than anything right um in uh in in uh, the older expansion right like uh, you know the current mythic is way harder than vanilla or tbc like those games are a fucking joke right um compared to the current wow encounters so what they did was they streamlined the game a bit like they they made the talents way easier right they reduced they basically re reduced the amount of abilities that you had that like you've got way less skills in wow than you had in classic or tbc right? And, and in Wrath, I think Wrath bloated it even further. They de-bloated it in Cataclysm, right? They reduced the amount of abilities you have, right? And basically simplified the game a little bit. And then to compensate, made the game harder and added difficulty settings to make the game more accessible. Guild Wars 2 is in a weird spot. Like, it's had years of design creep, right? Like, years of design creep um, kind of poured into it. Like, undoing that and it should be a goal that should be worked towards um over time but it is so difficult to actually address it in my opinion at this point like very very hard to do um but yeah there you go i mean like you can we can try i guess